We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this HP OfficeJet Pro 9018. We're actually going to do an unboxing and show you how to get the printer set up for its initial use. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is open the box. easiest way to get this type of printer out of the box is going to be to lay the box on its side, I'll remove its little bit of packing material there, and there's a, actually handles built into the bag, you just grab the handles and pull straight onto the table or onto the floor or wherever you're working at, and take our power cord, and get our styrofoam taken off of the printer. And now we take the printer out of the bag. Okay. So you notice there's blue tape and random spots around the printer. That's to keep the printer packed nice and tight for shipping. So you want to make sure that we get that tape off so we can actually access all the parts of the printer we need to have access to. If we lift up on the scanner, we find a piece of, of foam covering the scanner to protect the glass again during shipping. We'll take that out and set that off to the side. And a lot of times you'll find it in the paper tray as well. This time there's not any, so we'll go ahead and just make sure that the paper tray is adjusted for whatever size paper we're going to need. And get that loaded up. And we'll see what all they sent in the box here. So you get a power cord, some basic instructions. And this in the box is actually going to be the starter ink for the printer. So you have your black and all three colors are all shipped to you. And then we're going to plug this thing in to get it, the initialization process started. The power cord is going to be located on the back the left side of the printer. Plug that in. Over just a touch. All right. So now that's plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and hit the power button. There we go. So we'll give this a second to go ahead and start up, and we can go begin on the initialization process of getting it set up and ready to go right out of the box. Okay. So now the printer's ready to get started to go through the setup process. First question is going to ask you is what type of language. So we're going to select English. Hit confirm. We're in the US. So we're going to get the USA. Confirm again. And now it's going to tell you that it's going through checking, making sure everything's there. And it should be asking us to install this ink here in just a minute. Take off that little plastic sleeve there. And it's just kind of again making sure that everything's functioning properly and then it should realize that there's no ink. There we go, it's going to ask us to install the cartridges. So on the left or right side of the printer, you'll see a little kind of finger groove. Go ahead and push that down. And that's how you're going to access the depart or the compartment to put your ink. So we'll just slide them in one at a time and they literally just push right in. And you'll hear a click and those kind of lock into place. Do that for all four colors. And once they're all installed, we can go ahead and close up. And then now we're going to have to wait a few minutes. The printer's going to have to go ahead and initialize that print head and start bringing some of that ink from this cartridge that we just installed through the ink system in the printer to prepare it ready for use. So once that's done, we'll continue with the installation process. Okay, so once you have the ink installed and it gets ready, it's going to show you that 
or it's going to tell you that all four of your inks have been successfully installed or if there's any issues if one of them didn't get locked into place it's going to let you know here so in our case all of them are good so we're going to hit ok and the next screen is actually going to tell you to go ahead and put paper in the paper tray so we'll open the paper tray back up we're going to grab some paper make sure our sack's nice and even and we're going to go ahead and slide that in remember to have your paper tray adjusted for whatever paper size you're using so in our case we're using like I said a standard eight and a half by eleven letter paper so we have all the settings inside the paper tray for that so I'm going to close the paper tray it's going to say that it wants to do an alignment so we're going to go ahead and click confirm and continue we want it to go ahead and align that print head to make sure we get a nice clear clean print so now it's going to go through the process of printing out an alignment page and verifying to make sure that the print head is not only working but it's printing a nice clean image for you and again this sometimes can take a few minutes so you just have to be patient and once this is done then we can go ahead and continue on with the uh, the setup process which we're almost there it's, it's nothing complicated about it anybody can do it it's just a few buttons you have to push and for the most part you're following on-screen instructions so there's nothing too difficult for anybody to kind of thinking they're going to mess up the printer or make it even worse it's a simple process that anybody can do so we can see our alignment page coming up now and then once it's printed we're going to put it on the scanner so we're going to lift up the scanner and it's going to turn it face down in the top left hand corner you'll see a little marking that's where the corner of the paper needs to be we're going to go ahead and close that and hit the scan button so now it's going to scan that alignment page and again it's going to verify that the print that we just did that everything's where it's supposed to be there's no blurred images anything like that and just going to it's kind of finishing off that check and then it's going to let us know if it's happy with the way it looks or if it needs to do anything else to continue so in this case it says alignment successful let's go ahead and hit ok and then it's going to ask if we want to go and do a network setup I'm not going to get it set up to a network just now. Um, should be good to go. So, go ahead and hit the check mark, network setup, and then connect later. And that way we don't have to deal with that now. Okay, okay. And that's it we got it all set up and if you just want to print out a test page for yourself off here then you can, on the very top of the menu slide your finger down and then the top left hand corner you'll see a little gear then click that that's going to take you to your setup page and then when you turn the setup page scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see the second to last option is reports go ahead and hit the reports tab and one of the most common pages that we use on this machine just to kind of get an idea of where the printer is is the printer status report so we're going to print one and this page shows you a lot about what's going on inside the printer it's a good page to have as a reference of what kind of ink you have you don't feel like taking your ink out um, it also tells you how many times your ink's been replaced your approximate uh, ink levels so you can see this color status bar is there for each one of your ink cartridges um, it also has your serial number model number pretty much all the information you need to know about your printer is all on this page uh, but again you can tell a really simple process to get the printer up and running um, if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to give onyx a call we can try to help you out with those as much as possible or if when the starter ink um, starts to run out if you need ink to replace it Again, please feel free to give Onyx a call and we can help supply that ink for you. Other than that, you should be good to go. Back in print. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.